Men in my Jitis? Hi, I'm Ariel Italic. Hi, I'm Mickey James's cousin twice removed who goes to all of her shows and cries when she cries. Lady Bear Panther. <laughs> this scarf is also a hood. Oh. And you're watching Nobody's Watching Wrestling! <laughs> sound effects. Why not? Apparently it took longer than expected to get back from Ikea because we waited all night to see some fucking tables, ladders, and chairs, but we watched Tables, Ladders, and Chairs. I forgot to put a chair as a necklace. I'm sorry guys. Do you want this one? <laughs> no, you have to sit in that. Match one is Asuka versus Emma, who I know who she is now. Oh, oh. She's the one who dresses like she's going out as a sexy something for Halloween when she comes into the ring. Um, she had sunglasses. They sucked. <laughs> Asuka, on the other hand, always oh. looks incredible! Ow! So this is admittedly my first time seeing Asuka in action. The joy of seeing her for the first time. Just it fresh. was very joyful, joyful. Like I was at church. Like you were in Sister Act 2? Yeah, I was at a gay church with Asuka. What she is, is the fucking Buffalo Bill of the WWE just taking scraps from everybody's outfits because she's gonna kill them. <laughs> I thought she looked like a character in a Harajuku production of Rocky Horror. Ooh, like Ooh. Columbia. No, she's very Frankenfurter. She runs the joint. Oh. I was disappointed with the first half because uh, Emma kept doing well. And I don't want that for her because she bothers me for an unspecified reason. I wasn't that bothered by her. I thought it was a really good match. I think I like am starting to recognize this now when good matches happen. I think that she resonates with you because she gives off an aura of basic basic basicness. basicness yeah. She's like, hi, I was Jennifer Aniston's stand-in on Friends, and now I have this job as a wrestler. Oh, and she kept the hair! <laughs> I'm sure she's a very nice person. This race. isn't RuPaul's best friend wrestling race match. But anyway, uh, Asuka won, as it should be. I was scared for a moment, because Emma was doing really well. I was actually more worried for you than she would win. <laughs> <laughs> there would be a lot of consoling DJ Axon report. You would not consult, you wouldn't have been sad. You would have been furious. I would have like thrown the TV into the backyard. Accident report versus TV, match two. Oh! Speaking oh of which, God. match two is THE Brian Kendrick and Gallagher versus Cedric Alexander and Rich Swan. I think it's always appropriate to have a THE before your social media. I was just going to say that I think it is completely inappropriate to- because it's not social media, it's just his name. Like, why are you the fucking- the Donald? How long have you been working with me? You don't make me say- like, you don't make me introduce you as now THE Lady America Andrews. Oh, I will not start doing that. <laughs> The Brian Kendrick has Pillsbury dough ass. He's wearing the sparkly, like, trippy tights. Yeah, I love those. Well, I like those tights, and I liked his jacket, and they should never exist in the same space. And he's beefy as fuck. Not that beefy. I mean, like, Cedric Alexander is beefy. Oh. It's all just the boom boom like, room there was just downstairs. Beef everywhere. We haven't talked about serial killer substitute teacher man. Oh, Gallagher, I miss the old Gallagher. All you need to do is pull out a yardstick and start whipping people and I'm into it, and a lot of people will be into it. I feel like you're taking this in a real fetish direction. Oh, did I make you part of my kink right now? I mean, that's every episode. Uh, ah! Like, schoolboy principal fetish porn. And I've watched that porn, but I didn't want to watch it last night. I wanted to watch wrestling. I mean, this is one of those times when I'm surprised they don't do a, like, shopping trip to a dance supply store. Because they make those shirts that are, like, a shirt up top, then it's a leotard underneath. It just goes right through your little crotchetal area. And that way it's not going to come untucked, because unless it's sawing you in half. Or you just tuck your, your button down into your underwear. That was a trick I learned when I was straight. 
We didn't talk about the beautiful matching green of the other team. They looked great in their beautiful emerald moment. I don't know if they are strong style really, but it felt strong and like more realistic for the ground one. That was not strong style. Well, it's as strong as I like it. I don't like it any stronger than that. Now uh, who's part of whose king? <laughs> I like a man with a slow hand. I like a man with easy touch. I was waiting for Cedric to just burst on out, like, hey, Cedric the Entertainer, I want it, like, uh, let me entertain you. Uh, but also, his finisher is great. He really demolished it. I was so excited. That, that felt, again, I know it's not strong style, but it felt strong to me. I don't want him to, like, do that finisher to me. I think it would hurt. But it was cool to watch. Finish her. Match three, Mickey fucking James and Alexa Bliss. There is no way to not start with the eight outfits that Mickey James was wearing, each worse than the next. So good. It is all a tornado of hellish, nightmarish, almost fabric, and I couldn't be more upset about it. I know fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Denim cutoffs? Yes, bitch. Um, I know fashion, and this is it, y'all. Y'all! Mickey James also has a fucking country music album. She has a song called Hardcore Country. It's oh. not great, but it's great. <laughs> I feel like it's not great, but it's great should maybe be her slogan. I just think that most of the time it was Alexa, like, laying down the law. I mean, like, you can't wear that around here. <laughs> Match four, Kalisto versus Baby Enzo. Seeing him next to Kalisto let me see the scale of Enzo. I always think of him as a teeny tiny, but he is in fact a regular sized human being because Kalisto's a teeny tiny. Yeah. Wrestlers aren't like real people. They have varying scales that are um, concerning and irregular. They're like drag queens. You never know how big they really are. We, taller than you think. Or how nice they really are. Oh. Um, Kalisto, just a delightful little flippy. I love him in the ring. I mean, he had his like, weird anime golden child, like Sonic when you get all of the Chaos Emeralds looks. <laughs> I like Kalisto a lot, but after watching Lucha Underground, he just seems kind of pathetic. <gasps> He's just not as good as like most of the other luchadors in Lucha Underground, and it's just like a kind of stupid American version of that. Ooh. Well, that's a shame. Now I just feel like I had something taken from me. Like I could have had more, because I already like what I have so much. That's and okay. I you like what you did. like. Yo, I want more! What? You could just go watch Lucha Underground. That's not what this show is about. We already do well, this we, thing. I can't watch more yeah. wrestling. Extra credit. <laughs> um, okay, so fancy booking. Um, Kalisto not wrestling anyone. Enzo taking off one fashion detail at a time until it's just him with his big swinging dick. <laughs> it's probably big. He's Italian. I saw a little piece of it last night. He smushes pretty well. Wait, you saw like a piece it. of it? Yeah, just like a little pokey poke. But I mean, he was wearing so much that it like, he must have been a little stiff. I do Like just a semi. What I do know is they give him good face on that close up. Match five is AJ versus Finn. Demon Finn. Finn. Oh yeah, important. He was going all Babadook with it. This was a big old dick print match. And it was just like Christ's cock versus Satan's cock the whole time. They got a little larger as the matches went on. There was a not so subtle gay subplot. Not so Ooh. subtle. I know that several professional wrestlers, and I don't think we're supposed to talk about this, but everyone knows, got their start in like soft core wrestling leagues where like they filmed uh, erotic wrestling. Other than production value, no difference between this match and the stuff that Finn used to do. None. Someone I follow on Twitter 
post those videos all the time. They're weird, and I love porn. <laughs> it's not porn! It's just like slow wrestling. It's like somewhere between like wrestling and a slow dance. It's like if WWE had like a late night show on Cinemax. In terms of non-sex things, because that's important too, I know that there's a whole actual backstory where both of these guys... Um, so both of them were leaders of a faction of Japanese wrestlers known as the Bullet Club. And the Bullet Club's thing was that it was like kind of like an evil, gun-loving Westerner gimmick. Which is why they're both like white dudes in Japanese leagues. So they're like cowboys? Uh, a little, not like cowboys, but like, like, you know, like white people in Japan. Fergal Debit, his, his real name. Fergal Debit? Uh, was still, I mean, he was Irish back then, but he was still like from the West and like an arrogant cocky guy. Well, Irish, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense for you? You, yeah, because Irish people became the Southerners. I mean history, guys, I don't know. I can't go into it right now. <laughs> <laughs> and it's complicated because the WWE is also like in legal uh, battles with the Japanese League over Bullet Club stuff. Yeah, because they there was controversy. They pulled out, so after the match, their little llamas came out and they kissed each other. Because, like, are we gonna get sued now? I hope so. Fucking ridiculous. Um, because they couldn't end the match with an actual kiss. They did the little like hand gesture kiss, be like, yeah, we want to make out, but like that's not our thing right now. For, for also probably for legal reasons, WWE is like we can't have like dude on dude make out, even though we want to imply it. I don't even remember who won. I just remember that there was a kiss. It was Finn won. Oh, good for him! I have that one. <laughs> I just always like it when nice things happen to him because he just has an A plus perfect booty. And he just wants to go play Legos after this. Match six, the illegitimate angle versus a male feminist. Do you want to hear a fun fact about Kane? No. He's running for mayor. Of uh, what? <laughs> Some town. Well, you're going to have to give us a little bit more information. <laughs> He's on a libertarian. That's great. Yeah. Is it? I don't know. No, it's a not. third party is great. When, like, The Miz and Seamus and Cesaro and Blobby and Blooby and came out, like, they just looked like they, like, they just looked like they rounded up every bully from a 90s Nickelodeon sitcom and said, hey, you guys are friends now, let's do it. Well, if it was a 90s Nickelodeon sitcom, they actually said, hey. Oh. Oh, <laughs> good. It didn't get really good until the very, very end when they dropped that, like, chair mobile on Strowman. <laughs> I'm just glad they justified that decorating choice because it was iffy. They're just like, yeah, we're, you know, it's prom. We're just hanging, like, our theme is tables, ladders, and chairs. So we're just gonna hang some tables and ladders and It's chairs. like an epic Pinterest fail. Like, on a grand scale, like. Um, and then there was a dump truck. Baby with a butt. How do you have it? Why is that a thing? Why? 
You win the match because someone's in the dump truck? They, they just love attempted murdering Braun Strowman. Yeah. It's like the second time he's been attempted murdered. Yeah, we should probably stop trying to kill that man. He'll only come back stronger. Maybe he'll come back as zombie Braun. Oh, a big beefy zombie into a... Do zombies have beards? Is that the thing? Do you have a zombie beard? Whoa. It starts falling out in clumps. I mean, you know fashion. I think the real winner of this whole match was meningitis. Let's be real. As always, we'd love to thank Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. You can thank them by buying our fragrance. Nobody's watching wrestling. It smells like strawberry lip gloss and black leather, and it's delicious. It's not puffers. We also have a very special announcement. We're gonna do another live viewing party for Survivor Series on November 19th at Brooklyn Bazaar here in uh, Brooklyn, 150 Greenpoint Avenue. You can check out our social medias for all that information. Uh, and then we're also gonna do a live taping after the viewing party, so you'll wanna stick around for that. My name in real life is Ariel Italic, so on social media, it's Ariel Italic. I'm gonna donate all my followers this week to Mickey James. Go follow her. <laughs> you can't donate followers, it doesn't make any sense. Do you remember when Verica said she knew about fashion? <laughs> Just go with it. Okay, we're done. I'm uncomfortable with where this is gone. Um, and I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs>